Hello there, welcome to Prison Architect, episode 1 of version 1.0, let's build. Yeah, that, that's a great intro. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to build a new prison. Now if you remember our last prison, this one did pretty well. Um, caused some major problems, there's just been a minor fire as I was loading it up just to have a look around something. Uh, but uh, people are playing it, people are trying to escape from it. I've tried to escape from it many a time and I have found two ways out so far. I don't know if you've seen any, but you know, let me know if you get it to find a different way out. I mean, the, I'm not going to tell you what the way it's out in case you don't want to know, but you can find it yourself. But uh, yeah, okay, let's move on. 1.0, new prison. New prison. Now, I don't think about doing the campaign, but let me know what you think. Should we do the campaign in a live stream? Or should I do it in uh, some videos, um, accelerated, maybe one or two per level? Or should we just skip it entirely because everybody else is doing it? Let me know what you think. But, new sandbox prison. And we get to do all the new stuff, all the good stuff. Okay, so back to our normal routine of planning for the first episode. Now, with this one, you've got to choose another warden. So we've got our options now. By the way, this is a great feature they just didn't tell anybody about, and I love the fact that they managed to keep it a secret, because it was that one of those things where you go, oh, we get escape mode, that'd be great. Oh, we're getting uh, career mode, that'd be great. Ooh, this is something to tell us about. Ooh. <laughs> but anyway, we have the Warden. The Warden is basically what we've had since the very beginning of time, and it's just the normal the normal level. It's what we, what we used to. Then we have the Lobbyist. The Lobbyist have the likelihood of that receiving prisoners are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or firefighters. Not firefighters. Fighters. I think about firefighters. We had a fire early in the uh, in the prison behind it. Uh, so he basically makes life easier. The lobbyist makes life easier. They get less violent, less lethal, less volatile, less deadly, and less fighters. So his job is to make life easier for you. He's a bit like um, Phoebe on Rimworld. You know. She's supposed to be the base builder. Let's you, go. Let's you have a prison that's a bit um, dynamic, but also makes it be easier for you. We have Rita, who have the likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless. Prisoners that are suppressed twice as quickly. So this is good. This means that your prisoners will actually uh, be easier to suppress them, but you know to keep them under check, so to say, so they're less likely to kick off. But any suppression you do, like solitary confinement, really doubles up and that so that bar will go up much much quicker we have pw periwinkle he gives guard dogs have a 50 percent better chance of finding a tunnel now that's great that that is brilliant because tunnels dogs are they, they can be a bit hit and miss uh the pacifier it reduces the overall temperature of this bar here just by being here so you know i think it's about i think it's about, i'm not sure if it was five or twenty percent drop I know it was a decent one, but uh, yeah, that that game that just makes that easier there. But this doesn't mean the individual fights will still kick off just as bad. But that one overall prison won't explode. And then we have Sapira Akanova, who will get a who basically is a contraband person. Uh, gets a small cut from the resale value of each piece of contraband. So basically, we get more income when we find contraband. And prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings rather than uh, anything else. So, basically, this one's a corruption one. Now, I asked over on a video and or, or Twitter, I can't remember where, and I did get a reply, and the reply was, do uh, Safira Akanova, which is the more interesting one, because that makes sense. I mean, these are just more dynamics of what we've already been working on. This is something entirely new. So we're going to do that. We're going to play Safira Akanova. And I'm probably pronouncing it entirely wrong, but tough. <laughs> We're going to go to a large map, because I feel like I'm in a large map this time around. Fog of war, yes. Forests, yes. Lakes, no. Buildings, no. Conditions, yes. Gangs, yes. Now, here's the thing. I will be turning events on for the main game. But the problem is, we tend to do a lot of building in the first episode, two episodes. I don't want events kicking off while we're building. So I'm going to have the events off during the planning and the first sort of bit of building where we get into all the uh, base functions now. That's probably the first episode or two. Then I will activate the events once we start bringing prisoners in because that's when it makes sense to have them. Because it's just going to go, oh, you spent the first day uh, planning your prison, but no, nothing happened, so here's some events. <clears throat> so we're going to try to... I'll turn that on afterwards. But I will confirm to you all that it is on. But do remind me around episode two. <laughs> all right. So let's uh, start the game. 
Boop, thank you. Right, so, back to the last map. We now have a planning tool. We have to find our center point. I can never remember how big these maps are. Uh, this map is, uh, where are you hiding? Oh, you're down there, jeez. Uh, 158, so if we say there, I have no idea what that one is actually, I didn't look at it. What an idiot am I? That, whoops, is, oh god. That is 81. Okay, so we've got 81 there. This is 70, 81 there. Which means our overlap is that. Which means that is our center point. There we go. Center point found. Right. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Now, the first thing is, immediately, the entrance we had on the other 36. Six prison, 35, 36, did really well for us. Uh, and by really well, I mean it took me ages to get out of the ring, but I tried to escape it. So I think we'll have a very similar style entrance, but uh, we'll make the rest of the prison sort of different. I, I don't really know how we're going to make this prison different, because it's, you know, the normal thing. So, we'll start off with the, the main gate area is going to be here, which obviously will, for example, have a gate there and a gate there. Uh, these aren't positioned where they're going to be. For just these are just positioned where I think they sort of yeah. I'll have to reposition to make sure the gate's closed when the uh, lorry comes through and doesn't open for the next lorry behind it because uh, that it annoys me a little bit. I wish I wouldn't let the lorry through until the nuke could get in. Anyway, that being said, um, uh, I want to have this wants to be a double door. Well, let's drop it back a bit. Let's drop it back to about there. A double door there. Thank you. And then... Yeah, I think just to uh, widen out a little bit. Then we'll put a wall there, like that. So we have this little mini area again. Because that was that kind of worked quite well for us. So we had a double door there and a double door there. And that really did help out with the blockage. Also, it allows us to put the two rooms there again. Now those rooms are optional. I do like to have them. So we will probably end up with them again. And we'll just widen those out like that. Yes. Alright, so, based on that little airlock plus this main gate area here, which is which did, did as well, we could build down our storage area here, um, like that, and then here, hang on a minute, how big is that room? 11. 11, there we go. So this room here will be our... Uh, over room, we'll call it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I might actually get rid of that and put it there. That's something we're thinking about later. We could put the actual loading door there and not have an internal door. That way, they could just unload the lorry really quickly and workmen have to go through those doors. That's something for us to think about later. Right. So after that, we had a corridor. Um, I'm going to go down this time on the corridor. I do like the corridor. Like that. Um, and then visitation was on the end of the corridor, so the it just sort of adds that extra uh, level of how they're going to get out of it this time, sort of thing. Put the big corridor in. I like. I, I did like it. it. It was like an unusual design. So we had the what we did before. We had the reception area here, and do I want reception area there again? Ah. Uh, you know what? Yes, yes, I do. I'm going to put that fence in there, by the way, just so it looks more symmetrical. Like I said, the outer fence will probably get moved based on where lorries have issues. Um, well, while your guys are just sort of sat around doing nothing, let's give you something to dismantle, shall we? There you go. Get your guys over there. Start making some trees. Trees. Because as you all know, the trees are basically the unofficial bank of the game. So... There we go. Oh, got loads of trees down here. Go, 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 Earner in the early game when you start going, I want to build something new. You've got no money. Uh, can I take a loan? You haven't researched a loan. Uh, 
I've got some trees. Let's cut them down. Well, if you pre-cut them down, you have the wood on site, you can sell the wood as needed. Ah! Planning. There we go. And maybe down here we need to get rid of. Yes, there we go. Alright, so that's those guys doing their jobs. We can get back to our planning stage. Now, we have a, a fault in the design of the one, which I did say I wasn't going to mention. So, I'm not going to. <laughs> now, I will mention it, but if you don't want to hear it, if you don't want to hear what the fault was, just basically mute your stream until I delete this box here. Because it's going to be very quick, but when I delete this, I'll have mentioned what the fault was. And if you're playing and playing the prison and trying to skip without knowing, woo, without knowing, then, uh, okay. So, I'm going to tell you what the fault was, if you didn't know already, in three, two, one. The previous prison had a, had two rooms that were directly on the road roadside. The was the uh, visitation and the uh, a common room, which used to be a, a workshop. The problem was, those two rooms, you could set a fire in the rooms, which would burn down the outer wall, and you could just walk straight out of the prison. Those are the, the two weak points. Other than that, it was really strong. I mean, you could probably tunnel out eventually, but it was hard. But that wasn't easy. That was too easy. Um, I can't correct it, so I'll you know, go back and change it, because the, the way the workshop works. But I think we just make sure no buildings go near the edge. A couple of squares maximum, uh, minimum for certain buildings. All right. Good. And welcome back to anybody who'd want to actually mute that. I don't think anybody will, but I thought, you know, give a little spoiler alert so people don't have to uh, have to get ruined if they wanted it. Okay, so I'm just going to put down sort of our, our fence plan just so we uh, know where our boundary is because I tend to forget. Oops, right up against the edge sometimes. I tend to forget about it. There we go. Now, the thing we have to remember is, in the new event system, I usually build my, my generators right, sort of right there. Because it's a, it's a waste of space in the corner where you can't put more stuff. Because you can't put a cell block or anything here because, you know, they'll tunnel. But uh, that's like a nice safe area. But, given the new generator system explode... <laughs> yeah, that was nice of them. <laughs> you can't put them anywhere near the fence. If I put it there, boom, got an exit. So, yes. So, with that being said, let's ignore that for entirely. Uh, okay, so we've got our layout pretty well there. Uh, we want a reception. Now, the reception requires us to have a door there. And I liked having the table there mid sense, followed by a large table there. The filing cabinet can go there. We can put another large table there. Yep, and then a wall around that. Nice small reception room. That is all we really need for a reception room. It's five from there and five from there. Let's just double check that the room is big enough to reception. Uh, no minimum size, good. I mean, it doesn't need to be big. That's the that's whole point about the reception room. Uh, planning tool, wall, uh, object. And then, of course, we'll put uh, an exit there. Just the one. Slightly elevated to make them zigzag around, I think. I don't know. It might go central. We'll find out. <laughs> Alright, so we have sort of our main entrance there. Then if we put our offices like we did before, but I'm going to say I'm going to have the visitation below. So we put the offices up here. So the offices, uh, are they 4x4 or 5x4? I always forget this. Offices, they're 5x5 five five internally. Where have the offices gone? Office, office. 4x4. Four four. Well, that was wrong again. <laughs> Okay, so that is way too big. If we make that, that's three, four. Okay, that's the sort of the minimum size an office can be. That's fine by me. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm thinking actually, if we make the, that the staff room, so that so they can get from there into there pretty easily, uh, we can put our offices uh, in here. Yeah. So if we keep this corridor going, we can put. That which is a four by four there, and we could have another office there, and we could put an office there and there. That gives us nice six offices. That's just very simple. Now, how many do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, five. So here we just want four or five because 
the psychologist isn't going to be based here. They're going to be based in the prison for actual access to prisoners. So, uh, we actually need the warden, the chief, the foreman, and the accountant. I don't tend to go with the lawyer, but I will build the office for them just in case. So, you're going to need an office. And I want to put the office up, up here. Uh, should we give the warden like a big office now? Uh, staff room's there, so that would make that. Oh, so that would it? That, that, and then one more. No, there. Okay, so that's our, our staff area. That actually do quite well. Staff room there, plus the six, the five offices. We'll put a door open on that later on just to uh, secure the area, make sure people can get to it easily. Maybe just there actually. There we go. But uh, that should do that. Then visit visitation should be down here. So we'll bring visitation off. Now we just plan out the room first of all. If we put the visitation door here on the end. So they have the longest run if they want to try and escape. And we put here a visitation table that way on. And that way on. So we've got like a gap here for the wall. Then here we can have a double gap. And put a... We can rotate them like that. Yeah. Yes. But, if we bring them across here a minute. If we put... Ooh, can we have the wall to it? If we put the outer wall... There. Then, and we put our guys like that. Then we'd have that. And that. And that gets lined up with that wall there. That That's basically it. So that's perfect. And then we put a gap there like that. Like that. Ooh, a better idea. Better idea. Um, put that table long, long way on. Like that. We can put more of these down. Ah. Uh, almost. There. And there. Like that. And then here, we can do there. And there. And there. If we move those over one. Ah. Help. There we go. <laughs> move them over one like that. Uh, you guys do that. Uh-huh. Put the wall down there. Across there. You come down one more to there. Oh, look at that. That's, that's just awkward now. You're going to go side on. You're going to have to go side on. There's no two ways about it. You're going to have to be a little bit awkward, that's all. So we run that wall across there. Uh, up to there. I could put the entrance to that just there. Nice, quite nicely. Yeah. In fact, just because we're doing it, those really should be central to the room right there. Because it makes kind of sense if you've got a little gap right there. Just two people who can't really be trusted. <laughs> okay. So that's uh, our visitation room. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking that could be that could be an upper roll room, actually. Thinking about it. We'll cut that off. We'll just have the... Let's extend this down a bit. Um... We extend that down by another notch. I just want to make sure we got enough uh, visitation for people. There we go. And oh, can't go that close. Can't go that close. Because I sit behind it. There you go. All right. So if we do that, and then we wall off. If we wall off that, which is not entirely a bad idea, we could put a door here. Prisoners can come in, get checked out. And then, if they pass the test, they can go. And if they don't get past the test, then they can't go. Yes, that will that will actually work quite nicely for us. He says without checking anything, <laughs> and it'll hold the table perfectly. We only need the one, so there should be no real issue there. Hopefully, possibly, maybe. Um, all right, so we've got our sort of a facilities area up and running. We've got to get power generation. It's a big map, so we're going to learn from last time we do need two generators in the plan. But we'll do what we did before. We'll build one until we almost overload it, and then we'll move to a second one. Uh, I'm also going to just remember now to stop those prisoners coming in. Thank you. <laughs> I saw them late, but I saw them. <laughs> okay. So we've got that. Now, we need a canteen... Canteen, canteen. I don't want to put it here. I don't really like the main entrance area sort of being bogged down with stuff. It's kind of problematic. Um, I like to have the areas wide open. Um, so that's that, that's that. We can put the power generator here and the second power generator down here. That would probably do quite well. 
Um, the power generator itself, keep it away from the fence because the fence can blow. Uh, da, 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 there. If we say there, that's the power generator. And that's two banks of uh, capacitors. There we go. And it will have a wall around it because, you know, I like my generators to be walled in. Uh, that makes it 7x7. Seven seven. So, ooh, can we have that lined up as well? Because I really do like to have a line up. Boop, boop, boop. A 7x7. Seven seven. There we go. And line it up. There we go. And one of the other things we found out was that the water pipes can burst at the main. And if the water pipe gets near the generator, boom. So, they're going to be in a different room now. But I'm going to have a, keep the wall there. I'm going to have come off here. So, the water generator pipe, the water pump, oops, wrong tool, can go there. Like that. And we'll put the door for maintenance reasons there. And we'll wall around that and that. Um... No, we'll do it straight. we we'll do it straight. And put the door there. So you come in. And you go out and we put what we can put um, a drain there just to make sure that it uh, doesn't get any water into our generator room. That should do it just nicely there. Um, I'm serious to think about adding a second one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should we add a second water pump over here and do the water pumping in half as well? Or should we just have one half, the one pump for the whole? Because you don't really need a second pump. But, you know, it's aesthetics. Aesthetics. But if we're going to do it, let's just say it's five extra squares. We'll plan it in now just in case you guys say yes to it. There we go. Uh, and we'll delete it if you say no. Right. So, that's that bit done. And I did like having my armory sort of up here with, with the dogs in front of it. Because the dogs are always nice to have around. So, let's do it here. If we have a kennel, again, there. So, that would be a kennel. And two, I want to make it one, one, one higher, one higher, one higher. There we go. So we can have a kennel there and a kennel there and a, like a two gap in the middle to walk down. And we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, okay, that's, that's probably okay. A hot door there. Then a security station here, which will have, which is big enough, CCTV, CCTV. Phone tap. <laughs> we'll put phone tap there. Um, more CCTV, more CCTV, if it's needed. It's a bit narrow, though. I do like to have two gaps everywhere. Okay. Pull that back. Pull that to there. Three and three, and then one. Good. Uh, yep, yeah, good. And then that wall goes down there. And then we build off of that. So we'll build uh, that. Okay. So that, if it's the right size, we'll have a door there. So you've got to come around the... Uh, you come around through these two rooms. It's just... It's a security level. It's a, it's a security thing. So you've got to have a weapons rack, which will go there. And then you've got your, your guard lockers. So I'm going to put them down that wall there. And then... Boop, boop, boop. And then... Boop, 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 boop. Which I think makes a pretty decent guard room. Like that, maybe. Or put them down there. Put them down there. Right, and then the guard, the weapons rack goes there. Yes, and we put them there. And ooh, weapons rack in the middle of the room, and the guard rooms at the back. Yes, 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 yes. That would go quite nicely, wouldn't it? All right. So that's kind of a kennel, security room, and armory. So it basically makes it really hard to get in there. Now, the only time prisoners will ever get there is if they're brought in for uh, CI reasons. But then they're not going to kick off. And even if they did kick off, you know, it's a, it's a secure area. Let's call it that. Let's just say we have a secure area. Now, next area to have will be... Um, let's see, what can we have next? I'm trying to think of all the things we have. Let's go to the rooms. Okay. So, we have all those. Let's see. Storage, yes. Yeah. Security, workshop. I'm trying to think of a room that we can put there that nobody goes in but our staff. Uh, 
There really isn't one. I do like to have the forestry on the outside in any unused spaces, so we'll probably do that again. It and it turns out in the escape mode, the the forestry gives you hammers and stuff and saws, and so it's good to have those isolated. Right, the infirmary and the morgue. Okay, infirmary and morgue. So the morgue should never be accessed by anybody. Let's put the morgue down here. Morgue. Mark, 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 mark. Oh, we've had enough morgues in the in our uh, prison days, haven't we? <laughs> All right. So the morgue, we're gonna make a decent size because you know it's our prison. There, 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 and there. And then we'll have a gap and put more beds there, 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 and there. There we go. Right. So that's our morgue with a door there because it's convenient. Um, uh, if we put it back in a minute, put a wall there and a wall there, make that the entrance. Yes. Then we probably want to extend that by another bed each side. There we go. It's now symmetrical to the door. Boop. And it is important that it's symmetrical to the door. <laughs> All right. So just make sure that works. We have hospital bed. Hospital bed, hospital bed, hospital bed, uh, hospital bed, hospital bed, hospital bed. Any guesses what we're gonna put there? No. Nope. All right. <laughs> hospital bed, hospital bed, uh, nurses station. I'm liking that idea. And then we got a quick walk. Okay. Round there, down there, round there. Say hello to the infirmary. Unless we put the infirmary down here. Coming off the morgue. It's a possibility, isn't it? You know what? No, I like it. I like it. Look at all that. So you go in, you go around, you go out. Good. Nice and simple. Nice and it's a simple. God. Um, I'll put that as the forestry area for more trees. More trees. All right. So next up is probably our canteen um, and the workshop. But they can be sort of the, look the kitchen and the workshop should be the near, right near the entrance for for convenience of speedy reasons okay so if that's if that's what we're doing um i'm going to bring this door down here the very simple reason for that is it, when they get when if someone tries to escape past this door by the time they get to that one this door's been triggered whereas the side by side they've been triggered as they get to it so that, that'll do all right that, that's probably a good idea there all right so prisony prisony <laughs> I'm thinking we have it so you come through into like a little courtyard here. Um, make it a double door maybe. Boop, there we go. So you come out into a courtyard before you go anywhere. I mean that's a nice idea. Sort of, and that can actually be the yard sort of near the entrance here as well. Um, is it a good idea? No. It's not a good idea to have an actual yard there. Because an actual yard would get... Uh, well, it'd be problematic. So, I'm just going to put a pathway down and say... That area there, 12 by 12, is off limits for building on. That is where we, we see come for the and you get a nice thing, we'll put some trees in it and all that little bits, yeah. Uh, although, that's five and that's five. Okay, that's fine, yeah, 12 by 12. Perfect. Right, so we'll start here then. So this can be, I usually go like a central corridor. I'm going to try and not have the central corridor this time. So instead, we'll have a wall there. Bring it in to about there, and bring that into about there. Okay, so this will be our kitchen. I'm thinking of two kitchens. Yeah, I haven't done two kitchens ever. We'll have two kitchens. Um, bring it back to there, make it a three gap then. And bring it up there, and bring it down. Well, how big is that? I want to make sure they're about the same size. 15, it's probably too big, 15. Isolate that off to there. Isolate that off to there. Oops, that's too big. There we go. If we just make sure these can actually hold something. If we say cooker, cooker, cooker. Okay. I can... Oh, don't like that. There we go. Cooker, cooker, cooker there. Bring that down by one. Uh, cooker. Oh, 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 there we go. Cooker, 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 cooker. cooker. I have different ways of doing it, but I think that might do. Um, we've got two of them. No. If we say cooker there, cooker there, 
like that. Then a cooker there, cooker there and there. Uh, there and there, good, yep. Yeah. Uh, you and then you and then you. So that will be a decent sized kitchen. If we have two of these, we shouldn't go wrong. He says, really, really hoping we don't go wrong. <laughs> there we go, to there. Cut, our, ooh, cut nothing there actually. Uh, down the middle, cut down the middle there. There we go. Stick a wall there, whoops, and there, boop, and get rid of that, put a door there, get rid of that, put a door there, oops, uh, door tool, there and there, that can be how they get out to the canteen, to, to sort of supply food, yes, and because we're doing that, uh, if we also make the... This got the foyer kind of weird. I wasn't gonna put them there, but we could put doors in here, like that, to get from the canteen into the little courtyard. Into, nah, I'd rather the doors here and here actually. Okay, so that little foyer area there is just gonna be probably a storage area. I don't know, maybe yeah, that could be our storage area. Make it off limits. Something to think about. Something to think about. Okay, so we got the we got the workshop. Well, the workshop. We got the uh, kitchens. Then if we build the canteen just here, uh, we can say we can have they're five long and five long. There we go. That should be more than enough to feed the prisoners, but we can always add an extra two like that. Just in case. Yes. All right. So now we say we'll feed them. They're four by three. Oops, wrong one. 4x3, up against the wall. Double gap. No, not double gap. Another 4x3 there. Then a double gap. We get a triple gap. A 4x3, and... No. That's there. And then, after a triple gap, we'll have table, 4x3 there, and another 4x3 there. Um, your 4x3 and 4x3. Good. I'm just sort of putting all the tables down in case you're wondering what we're doing right now. And you should know what we're doing by now. <laughs> there we go. And then... That's a double gap. Just a double gap? Yeah, just a double gap. We're fine. There we go. And then another... Triple gap? If we make that a double gap... Oh, sorry. We've got a double gap there. We can have that there. Take that back one more. Put that there. Then we've got a double gap to there. And then that goes up to the wall. Good. Then over here... After double gap, we can go four by th four by three and four by three, followed by a four by three and a four by three. Okay, looking quite good. Looking quite good. Bring that wall right down to there. We've got a middle section here. We can put some stuff in if we want to put some stuff in. I mean, we don't know if we will. We probably will. Um, put a door, a double door there. Thank you. And a single door there, and there may be a double door later on if we have to upgrade it. I don't know. Um, we shouldn't need to upgrade it, but it's, if we do, it's there. A nice long canteen as well, it's quite good. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. Maybe actually, I, actually, what I think would be better, if we pulled them back one square. Like that. Yep, and then switch back to the wall tool. Put the wall down to there. Like that, did it, and remove that. Um, ah, I don't like them. I don't like those little T junctions you get. Put that down to there. We've got this bigger gap, we can, we can have the double doors in, and it won't look weird. There we go. <laughs> well, I like, I like my symmetry. Right, and it also means we've got this bigger space here if we want to do anything with it. Right, so now we've got the canteen done, we need the workshop position, and the workshop really should be positioned up the top. Uh, but I'm thinking, because that way they come through here with their supplies, rather than through here with their supplies. See what I'm thinking there? Right. Uh, the workshop needs to be near the entrance, though, because they will get all sort of pissy about the fact that they can't get to it from materials. Okay. So, workshop can have a four gap, but just make it big. It's way too big. I know it's way too big, but, you know, let's find out. Table. Table. Actually, no. Let's do it this way. A four table there, then a table, table, 
table, table, table, table, table. It adds up quite nicely. Okay, good. Then here, we put a, a gap at the bottom. Put in one of those. Make that two of those. Three, four. I'm basically making the uh, the bench that we're using. Yep, that looks alright to me. Then we'll have... Are they four wide or three wide? I can't remember. Um, I can't play some games, can I? Whoop. Uh, uh, uh. I cannot. But it won't, let me, it won't let me see. Okay. I believe they're only three wide. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I believe they're... Oop, that's the wrong tool, though. That's definitely the wrong tool. So they're only three wide. Uh, I like to have them up against the wall there. Oop, 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 oop. And two there. And there. And then we'll leave a double gap there in the bottom so they can get through easier. Then we'll place more of, of those guys down. Like that. And... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six. Um, that's basically the bigger we can get it. Any bigger than that, we can't get more people to, to function it. So if we say, okay, now, a double gap and then tables again. Same as over wall has them. Because these, this room does need a lot of tables, you see. Like that. We can then write off that wall all the way up there. Scrap it. And put a double door. Uh, we get a single door right in the center. That would do as a uh, workshop. That would do as just as a workshop for us. Okay. Workshop planned in. <laughs> okay, let's just undo that so I don't get to confuse later on about why it's there. Right, so we've got the workshop planned in and we're only half an hour in. Ooh. Personal best on slowness today. Alright. Next up. Uh, let's see. Let's have our rooms. We've got to do solitary holding cell. Do the holding cell first, because I always tend to get that sort of later on. Uh, and we have a yard near the holding cell. Yes, okay. Walls. Now, holding cell, give it a three gap. Just uh, bring it down to there for a minute. Ooh, there is a room we haven't put in, and I, keep, I forgot to do it. We haven't put a toilet facility in the canteen area. Uh, we can always eat into this, I suppose. Only two squares we need. Mm. Okay. I like it. I like the idea. Boop. De boop. Um, put a wall like that. Oh, it just happened to be wrong side, didn't it? Oh. Why would you be the wrong size? That's just, that's just being mean. Um... Although, we could make that a shower area in the middle. Toilet, 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 shower, shower, shower. Yeah, okay. Four showers. So you get in there have a shower as well. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That will, that will work quite nicely. Uh, I also put it on the outside over here, but uh, that's actually all right where it is. Um, alternatively, I'll bolt it on here. But I'm thinking, no, I like it there. I mean, it's eating into this little area here. Um, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, you know, what? let's eat into that area. Unless you guys think we should have, unless you think we should have it here. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. I can put it here. Or I can put it there. Uh, there's gonna be a gap here anyway, so I'm not gonna be probably digging into it. But uh, let me know what you think. We should eat into one side, or we can put smaller ones like that and have the these as doors into it. That's always an option. Let me know what you think. Because um, if we do that, we'll have two of them. Two small ones, one there, one there. We can have this bit here. Or we can have it sort of coming off here with a walkway going down the middle. Uh, but you have to let me know on that one, guys. All right. So next up, uh, we are working on our holding cell. So holding cell. Boop, dip, boop, dip, boop, dip. Dip, dip, boop. Dip, boop. Okay. That's our shower block. Um... Uh -huh. And a nice table there. And, ooh, it's too close to the wall. Nice table there. Then we have bed, 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 bed. Double door. Bed, bed, 
Bed, bed. I'm making it bigger this time around. Yes, let's do a bigger, 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 bigger. There we go. Nice big area here for playing chess and whatnot. Wall there. Oh. Uh, oh, wrong one. And a wall there. And boop, de boop, de boop, de boop, de boop. It's a fair decent trek from the fence for digging. I don't know if you can dig from a common room, from a holding cell anyway. But there we go. That should do it just nicely. Okay. Uh, plus, they'll have, they'll have a dog patrol in the area anyway. Um, next up, we have. Uh, stuff we've got, visitation we've got, cleaning cupboards, okay. Cleaning cupboards don't have to be that big, and as a result it can go sort of over here, uh, or over here, even possibly here. I do need room for the generators. Oh, the generators are already on the generators, ignore me entirely. Um, alright, so, cleaning cupboard, two gap, nice long room, like that. Object. Door there, and you got the appropriate fences. Let's just check something. Uh, that's a four for a table, four for a table, four for a table. Door. There we go. Oop. Uh, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Door. Four for a table. Four. 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 Okay, that's the cleaning room. It will do quite well. It should do quite well anyway. Uh, we'll probably have another cleaning room somewhere, but we, cleaning rooms don't tend to be a big issue. We are going to need a laundry though, and the laundry needs to be nearer to the cell block when we get to them, so that's not going to be over here. Uh, we need an office for the psychi psychologists. Um, no reason to not put it here. So keep all our facilities near the entrance. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's expand that to there. Narrowing down to three wide corridors now. Could we get into these areas we can do? They need to be. That's the office size for one psychologist. That's the office size for a second psychologist. Yep. We only need the two psychologists, so I'm going to put their doors like that. And they don't need to be in a, like a complex or anything, they can just have their little doors and be done. Right. Because we only need two of them as well. Uh, we have parole there. Chapel. Chapel. Chapel, 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 chapel. Chapel, okay. So I'm going to put a chapel here. And I won't have a decent sized chapel this time around. I usually cheap out on the chapel because, you know, I'm not a religious person, so I tend to go, eh, it's a chapel. But the prisoners are, and I should respect that. So there we go. Um, the pews. Not the pews, the. Here's a pew. Pew. They are one, two, three, four wide. Okay. Thank you. I had to just double check that because I was about to put some stuff down and it wouldn't work because they touched each other. And not in the inappropriate way either. <laughs> oh, I really should stop trying to make bad jokes like that. All right. So, can I rotate pews, by the way? Yep. Pews. I can. Okay, good. I know some things can and some things can't, so I was just playing safe there. But if we would say... Have the pew there and a pew there, then another one there, like that, and a four, and we can have a, whoop, uh, maybe not that, maybe there, and then stagger that one. Bring it by one more. Okay, I, I'm playing. I'm just trying new designs. You see, guys, I'm just trying new designs. Uh, and there, and then there. And that would leave us with a four there. So we've got some a nice little like a pew uh, area for like a church. You walk in, you walk down the church. We can have the altar there, which is annoyingly a three wide. <laughs> and it's annoying because obviously uh, if it was a four, it'd fit nice and perfectly in the middle. Um, then we have the seat. No, not the, the, um, the tables. The, not tables. What are they called? Prayer mats. We have the prayer mats. Which I like to place in uh, he hexes, like that, as you are all aware. But this time around they're going to be slightly different because I'm not going to place them against the wall. Not for any real reason. I just think that uh, this time around we should be different. So we do that over there. Whoop, there we go. And then we do that. 
Mm. No, because I don't, I don't want to touch in them. Those are, are separate. They're separate. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put door there easy to get people in and out easier. Oh, there, sorry. So they can come in that door and come down. I can come in this door here. Uh, actually, that'll probably do all right. I mean, I'll probably put some more stuff in there if we need to. Even possibly extend the pews down and maybe move this back. Something we can do. Something we can definitely do there. All right. So that's that bit done. That's that room. Next room on the list. Mail room. Five by five. Minimum. Well, we'll go bigger than that, though. Right. The mail room. Um... Let's put it up here. Mail room, three gap. And this area is just all getting loads of big gaps because we can. Um, has to be about that big. So if we extend it that way. Uh, to t right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. That's a ten size room. Okay, that is our mail room. It can have table there, a table there, and a door to get in. Okay, that adds up quite nicely. I'm happy with that. But I am going to add an extra one high. And the reason for that is very simple. It allows me to go boop, de boop, de boop. There we go. <laughs> no other reason. I can let me put a, cent a central door in. All right. It's kind of a weird little anomaly, but you know, I like those little weird anomalies. Right, what's the next room we got to have? Reception, parole, chapel, exports, shop. A shop. Shop, 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 shop. And where do we have the shop? Where should we put the shop? I'm thinking we put the shop right by the canteen. Just here. It's a nice area for it. What do you think? Uh, no, actually, I want to have a yard there. So if you put a yard there, um, yes. And I want the yard to be nine. Eight, nine. Yep. So the yard's going to be there. Uh, like that. And then here. Eight, nine. And then that uh, wants to be nine that way. There we go. Two little yards. Um, with a fence coming off of that. Like so. And... We'll wall them in. Maybe, 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 maybe not. <laughs> Cut that off. We put one, two that way. Okay, and then we extend you and get rid of you. We say eight by eight by nine. Ugh, eight by nine though. Eight by nine. Eight by nine. Eight by nine. Would allow me a cor a corridor there and there. I have two yards, but it hurts my brain to think that it's not lined up. So nine by nine and nine by nine. There we go. We and the balance has been restored, <laughs> and two yards, so that they can fight over it when they got gang masters in the area. Uh, double door there, double door there, double door there, and the yards can uh, sort of point into each other. Yes, I just I set it off for now. Okay, so that's our yard areas, and then from the yard we can start doing the sort of uh, cell blocks and stuff here. Uh, next room, shop. Yes, the shop. Now I want the shop. Cause we're going to have the shop to the north of this one, so it come up here to the shop. Now I'm going to do this a little cheeky. I'm going to make sure they come through this corridor in to go to the shop. So I'm going to actually build the shop here. Okay. And the door's going to be there. Uh, sorry, the counter's going to be there. So the door can be sort of uh, probably up here. So I'm going to put, use that as a counter. So they come up here, in, buy the stuff, and then leave. And that's kind of a, a nice little way of doing it, I think. I haven't tried that before, making a little corridor in the, for the shop. But we'll find out if it works. Probably won't, but we'll find out. Uh, that's the shop done. The armory, uh... Yeah, Amory's already over there. Staff room's done. Library! 5x5 five five for a library. Well, you know, if we're doing it up that there, why not to do this? Well, that's a bad idea there, wasn't it? A library! Boop, there you go. I'm liking this sort of uh, complex for the main area for prisoners. 
It's kind of, it's kind of, I'm trying to get in digging it a little bit. Yeah. Um, visitation. Yeah, got that. Laundry. Laundry, 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 laundry. We won't do laundry just yet, because laundry kind of goes near the cells. Common rooms. Okay, common rooms. Um, let's see. Common rooms. Um, three and thirteen by thirteen is a nice size common room. It's a bit big for common room. Uh, we make it narrow. Ah, what's the, what's the minimum size for common room? Common room, common room, common room, common room, common, 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 common. No minimum room size. Good. Welcome to the narrow common room. It will have pool tables and TVs, or no pool tables and just TVs or just seats. It's a narrow common room, whatever it's going to be. Uh, let's make it a two. Okay, I can put a door there. <laughs> a nice small common room there. Um, next room. Oh, more common rooms. We need more. I want to have a common room sort of central to the cell blocks. It's just a little thing I want to try. Um, I'm not sure about that. I might make that a cleaning cupboard. We'll figure that out in a in a bit. You know, it's a, our plans are subject to change. They're subject to change. This is my buffer zone. This is actually going to be where the trees are going to be for the uh, green growing area. Um, I could get close to the edge though now. Yeah, okay. We'll move down a bit more. It's a common room. It can be... Boom, 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 boom. There. Is that... No, it's too far over. There we go. Boop. Right. The common room. 10 by 10. There we go. That should make... Oh, make it 10 by... Make it 11 by 11. 11 by 11. 11 by 11. There we go. Because he gives us that central door. We always need the central door because it's kind of weird if we don't have one. Um, but that will do quite nicely for us. Common room. Good. So we've got common room up here, which I will actually extend that one to make it the same size. It's just kind of weird if they're not the same size. Uh, 11. Well, this is 13 by 13. This is a bigger common room because, you know, the symmetry di dictates it. <laughs> All right. Common rooms are in. Next rooms. Uh, common room, common room, common room. Morgue, if only we have office security, we've got workshop. Workshop. We didn't build a workshop. That was actually an oversight. We were supposed to build one, weren't we? I know we have workshop. Workshop's being built. Workshop we have. Workshop we do. Garbage, deliveries. Yep, that's over here. Storage. Oh, but maybe that might be a storage. I don't know. It might be one further in. Uh, yard. Okay, we've got two yards there. Uh, showers, kitchen, canteen, solitary. Okay. Now we get to start on the actual cell blocks then. Because I want uh, the cell blocks like that. Now let's start with the solitary. The solitary can be... Ooh. It's one second. Uh, that's a four. Go ah, go away. Go away, go away. Uh, that's going to be a four because that's what I want it to be. One, two, three, four. Boop. If we put the cells, the bigger cells here, yes, those, just there, like that. Okay, good, good, good. See how we're getting here? We have a three gap, and then we do another set of cells there. Do 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 do, and then we have an extra cell there, like that. And we have, on this side, we have our smaller cells. It may not work. Give me a second. Then a three. And then our smaller cells again. Go there. And how close are you to the external fence? Ah, you're from miles away. Perfect. And another one of them. Good. Run that down there. And... I mean, it looks like it looks kind of wonky, but that's because these are the bigger cells, those are smaller cells. It's supposed to be like that. Um, in fact, no, I'm going to change that around. Let's put let's put the bigger cells on the outside. Oops. So that that there that can be removed. You to there. Then you come down, and then you go there. Boop de boop. De boop, de boop, de boop. There we go. So that. Oops, wrong one. My mistake. That is our 
sell block. This is actually a, a different type of block design. We don't normally do these kind of designs. I normally have a long line and then put maybe another long line. But I'm having this loop on the end here. But I am sticking with my uh, little thing of we put showers on the end. Okay. Um, I want this one and that one to be sort of facing this way. It's kind of where I wouldn't want them facing, but I want them there so they can come out and straight into the canteen. So we'll have here uh, like that. I put a door there and a door there, and they can come in and have their shower. Yes, I will put a privacy shield there for them, and then we go. All right. I don't want to do these corners. Probably, maybe something possibly small. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but that's our cell block number one, and its dimensions are. 29 by 23, starting on that line there. 29 by 23. 29. Nine. So that should now line up with that one. It does. And then we have the four. Oops. We have a four by four. Is it four by four? Three. Sorry. If sorry, my mistake. It's a three. Like that, cut out. And like that, cut out. And that'll be our cell block number two. Ah, you see. And I've got the room here for the solitaries, you see, when it comes up to them. So the solitaries, well, they could be here. Like that. And, okay, I have to ask a question now, guys. Do we have the old traditional cells like that and put a toilet and that's it. The single cells which most people get away with doing I'm not overly fond of or our little bigger bigger ones. I like the bigger ones because I can put beds in there and toilets in there and then give them a bit of comfort and those little bits of comfort can actually help them not sort of kick off when they come back out again. But let me know how you think we should go about it. Okay? Should we have the bigger or the smaller version? And it is an important piece of information. We either, if we build a bigger version, then that's fine. But we need to know about it. And we do we build a smaller versions? So we got 2x2, two 2x1, by two, two by or 1x1. One one. Most prisons have 1x1s. One one. I don't personally like 1x1s. One ones. I think they're a bit cheaty cheaty. 2s are borderline. Um, and you got these 2x2s. Two I, I prefer the 2x2. Two two. You can put a door there. You can put your bed there and your toilet there. And you've got a nice mini cell, basically. But let me know what you think on that one. Uh, and that is 28 by 11. Okay, and 28 by 11. We'll put it, ooh. See, that one lines up with the beginning, but we can't do it with that one. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit shorter to accommodate what we're doing. But it'll be... Doop, bidoop, bidoop, bidoop. Do, do, do. Just there. There we go. It's a little bit smaller, but not by much. But that should hold just nicely. Okay, that's the, that's that bit, and that's that bit. Okay, and then we have cell blocks coming out. Okay, good idea. Um, oh, what have we got? About, we've got solitary holding cell in the canteen. canteen da, 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 da. Showers are going on the ends of the cell block. That's good. Uh, Laundry, right? Okay, laundry and uh, and a, a holding cell to go in the middle. Not a holding cell. Up, oh, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> All right. So if we bring that up to here, uh, these cells, because these are gonna be our primary cells again. Because I'm going back to these traditional cell design. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, just wondering if we can get away with a bit of an unusual design to this prison. We haven't done an unusual design for a while, you see. Ah, help! <laughs> Alright, so. Let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and then after forward it down again then across like that and then up like that and then up like that and then one two three four okay um but this is just like a wing corridor coming off oh um if we change that bring it down another notch Okay, got a better idea. I'm trying to think of a different design, as you're aware. So maybe one more. And put that there. That's a two, right? Uh, but if we change that, put it that way on. Whoop. Uh, whoop. Uh, 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 uh. There. To there. That gives us a three here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three four five come across there by three go up that side like so right then here if we say uh, if you pull back one more there and pull you back one more there and you take that off that and that off that you can stagger those in like so have no effect at all but just give me an idea for something um what am i going to do here that's kind of my question because i don't want to have this big gap and then we can't do something here because of it uh diddly 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 diddly. okay cancel that cancel that Let's have another one then we'll put one there and there no put them on that way one Two, three, four, five deep, three gap. One, two, three, four, whoop, five. Then back to the normal cells. One, two, okay, liking that, liking that. Then we have a three, okay, put there, okay, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, and then a gap up there. Let me just find this a minute. One, and then that, and then that would do fine, and fine, and fine, and fine, and that could be for like windows and stuff. Eh? And we could probably even put like showers in there if we wanted to. That could actually be our showers, outdoor showers. You think, guys? Let me know. Outdoor showers, yes or no? Yes or no? Alright. Could we do that easy enough? It's pretty easy to put door there, where fence across there, put showers in here, and have the windows pointing out into the showers again uh, sound familiar <laughs> and then we have a three gap and then where, 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 where are you going and then here we go up all right so to there to there to there, to there. and then these would have a three gap the new ones come down every four. That one's longer due to the canteen being there and the solitaries and other cell block below it, that's all. Like that. And then this side we have a three gap. It goes up and up and up and up and up and then up. Okay. This is gonna be quite interesting, uh design idea wise. But I can see these patterns repeating and repeating and repeating itself. So rather than drop every single cell in here, I'm just going to not. <laughs> these are 13 long. So 13. There we go. And then that comes down like that. And then we go across three. Then we come up to there. Then we're 13 long. It comes down there. And we can have showers in every one of these gaps. If we want to do them on the outside, if not, I can put showers on the inside or in a block somewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm favouring this, to say the truth. But I want you to know what you guys think. Um, okay, it might, it might be we just sort of take out maybe these cells here and make them into a shower block for each area. Or we leave them alone and we have this as an external shower block. You go outside and get into the shower. But that's, if I'm saying that's kind of uh, what do you think, guys, sort of scenario again. Okay. 
think that's good enough there. We get to that, and then we have our three, and that just comes up. Is that a three or a four? There's a three, and then that just comes straight up there, like that. Ah! Hold on, save room me off for a second. So that'll go up about that. Then, if we reverse it the other way around, uh, this is 20 high. If we have a three gap, okay, and we run all the way down with the same pattern, but it's 20 high, how will that, where would that take us to? 20. It's too much. Way too much. Um, well, that's easy enough to deal with. We say nine there. Nine there. All the way to the end, which is 87. 87. And then that's 20. 24 at that depth. 24. That'll come back right up to here. So that's going to be the second part of the wing there. That is just that, but in reverse. And then in the middle here, we can have another cell block potentially coming off. Um, da -da 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 I don't want like a mega cell block, but not, but also mini cell block simultaneously. I'll put like, separating gates in here most likely, to stop it from being one big cell block. Just sort of like maybe there and there, just sort of isolate them. I don't know. We'll go into that in the get around a bit time sort of thing. Then, so these are doubles, and I want threes. So I'm going to make the central walkway a four instead of a two or a three because, you know, we can do mostly. Uh, but that bit's there, and then if we say here. Uh, three there, and then run back onto it, uh, and then we do a three there, and then one backs into it, and then we that leads to this massive gap. Um, we can put a cell in there like that. There's only twos in. Um, ah, my head hurts. <laughs> What what if what 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 if they don't go that way on? What if they go the long way on? Put it like that. Put the door there. So we put another one there. Put one there and there, and then a three. We'd have that one there, and we'd have that one there, and that would be a two. Damn you! <laughs> what if these are all the what if scenarios? Just make it work. That one goes like that. That one goes like that. Then we have one, two, three, and then we have that gap there. That would work. I'd have thought of like a central one all the way down. Okay. That's working. Uh, probably would have it the other way around, so the singles would be putting on these to keep these together. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But for now, two and three. Let's do the threes first, because we know the twos line up with these ones down here. So three to three to three, three, three. Ah! Three, th hey, stop it! <laughs> three, 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 three. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, three, 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 three. Please line up nicely at the end. Oh, you evil, evil thing! Uh, okay. So the threes will go down there quite happily. Uh, bring that down to there. The twos, which are on the back of them, go down to there and down to there. And then we have to make a choice here. What we're going to do, I think we're going to put an extra one on. And the extra one probably goes on there. Maybe miss it. I don't know what to do here, corridor or something. Uh, the central one, however, this is going to be slightly different. These, uh, we'll line up with them, don't they? Yes, they do. I've been all the way down to the end, like that. Okay, so these are cells. So, boop, 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 
Boop. Okay, you get the idea? Right, good. That goes there, that goes oop, to there, that goes to there, that goes to there. Aha! Uh -huh. All the normal stuff you'd expect to see for cells. And these will have alternating doors either side. Because I just I like the idea, it's just alternating. Make it a big sort of block of, of cells. Which is something I haven't done for a long, long time. But I am making cell wings rather than cells. Um, then these... I want to have sort of a shortcut through them in case of problems and to trouble, because you know there'll be trouble. So there'll be one of these cells missing in each position, just to allow for movement of guards through the facility. Okay, so where we're going to do that is right in the centre point, which is here. Right here is the centre point of the prison. So we'll cut out that there we go and probably chain that off like that Oop. and cut back to there hey put it back <laughs> behave yourselves to there um to there no not there there and there good looking good uh, oh you you need to come out as well sorry right so that would go all the way up to there, that would go all the way up to there. Cut across that, because they're cells, you see, like that. They would come out, most likely, like that. And that's going to be like a large common room in the middle of the cell block that they can all use. So they have the smaller common room, uh, there and there, but that's going to be the larger common room they can use. The yard's going to be on the outsides. Okay. It's, it's turning out nicely. This is kind of where we're going to end the planning. This area here is expansion zone. Because there's going to be a lot of prisoners and this is going to be quite complicated to build. I'm liking it. I don't think we've missed any rooms out. Uh, storage, yard, oh, yards. The yards, by the way, the plan for the yards, apart from them two there, is to probably have yards sort of up here, coming off the back. Um, and then did corridors here. So I'd like to have a yard almost there. But those are those are to, to play with. Those are our primary yards here. But let me know, guys, what you think of our new design. Because it's, it's not usually and we've never done one like this before. Um, actually, I always go with the traditional design myself. Um, but uh, I want to try it out new. Let me know what you think of the design. Should I change anything? Don't forget, I will go back and I will make changes. Uh, I will go back and make changes as appropriate if you if you spot something uh, just let me know and I will fix it but for now well I finish off all these little lines for the foot for the thumbnail and for the next episode all I can really say to you is one second one second that will common room actually fixes the offset problem we've been having. It does as well. If you thought that earlier, it would have been brilliant. Do, 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 Oh, look at that. And so that can go, oh, that can go there, it can cut off that, can cut off that. All right. So, yes. I can go straight down there and cut it. There we go. So, guys, as per usual, uh, cut them open because that's actually the walkway. There we go. As per usual, guys, let me know and we'll see what we can do for you. Um, yeah, I'm liking this. I think this design's good. I'm just uh, going to fill in the guys. But for now, all I can really say is comment in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.